Welcome back to Persona 4 Golden. It's Christmas. It It's not Christmas. It's February. It's, I was going to say, it, it's the day before Valentine's Day. If it's anything, Christmas. this if anything this is the Chinese New Year, which is possibly correct. It's Christmas. Merry Christmas. Anyway, we're here at the... Uh, the Grave of Hollow Memories, which is an incredibly cool name. Um, and it's where Jesus died. Last time on Persona 4 Golden, we found the place uh, where Marie was hiding out. And she's uh, trying to kill herself, so we're going to save her. Let's go. Oh, no. This, uh, I will say, this dungeon... Looks super cool. Like, even if you can't Ooh. see much because there's a lot of fog, but like, it looks cool. This dungeon go fuck itself. <laughs> from what I allegedly understand. <laughs> Is that your actual opinion? I don't know. <laughs> Once again, I Got have only gotten to the point. first save point. And Anyway, Marie's just reciting her poetry. If you would remember from her poems earlier in the game. What the fuck? All our items are gone. What the fuck? Who did this? What the fuck? Who took our shit? Did we get robbed? Traitor? What the fuck? Uh, so yeah, this dungeon... This dungeon is, uh, u unique. It's a, a word. It's, yeah. It's a gimmick dungeon. Oh, hey. It's Juness. Whoa. What's um, Juness doing over there? Um, but this, uh, Classroom. this dungeon, this dungeon is unique for many reasons. One, because you don't have any of your items. What? Yeah. Yeah. Like like she just said, all of our items are gone. Uh another thing is that we have these doors that have uh enemy fights tied to them. Um Thank you, Risei. So the enemies in this game or in this dungeon are piss baby easy. Like you would have to be really, really bad to lose to them. But basically you'd have to be me. No. Like but no, the enemies are like really really easy to kill for the most part. Um because they're like pretty I mean they're about like in the 70 like the mid 70 range for levels which is like pretty much where you're at uh right now in the game. Unfortunately, because these enemies are so easy to kill, it means they give you very very little experience. Look at that, 750 for four enemies at this point in the game. That's bad. Also, anyway, look at your SP bar. Yep. Um. So every time Whoa, what? you, every time you do a fight in this dungeon, your SP is cut in half. That's rude. Yeah, it's extremely rude. So this, as this dungeon as, sucks, as the drawback. For the enemies being stupidly Piss easy, easy, yeah, is that the game takes away half of your remaining SP after every battle, and they're required because yep, they're gates. So yep. it's not like you can avoid these. You have to go through the gate, and you have to fight the enemies. Yeah, uh -huh. I this don't is stupid. I don't really feel like naming all of the weaknesses for all of these enemies because Rise has the. Uh, full uh, analysis uh, ability now, which basically just tells you what all the weaknesses are, like, just right off the bat. So, I don't have to say anything about them anymore. Because I just, like, sh I just pull the screen up and I'm like, yep, those are the weaknesses. Go nuts. I mean, like, everyone sh I mean, like, everyone should have this at this point in the game. Like, unless you somehow haven't completed Risei's social link yet, even though they give you, like, plenty of time to do that. Yeah, you really should have it. There's there's no point not to. So, as, like, to make this dungeon not impossible, uh, 
All of our party members are equipped with items that restore SP during every turn. It's only, it starts off at only eight at a time, like eight SP per turn, which isn't a lot. But um, this dungeon does have a lot of chests in it, and it gives, and they give you like items that are unique to this dungeon that help out with that shit. Uh, in addition to uh, no items, that also means we have no armor. Uh, like our armor is just basic bitch, like one deep, like one point of defense armor. Um, but again, the enemies are piss baby easy, so they can't do much damage to you anyway. Uh, but you can find, like, other armor, uh, around that gives you, like, weak- or, uh, that isn't any better defensively, but it gives you, like, a resistance to a certain, um, element. Element. Uh, yeah. Yeah, fuck this dungeon. It's annoying. Like... The game, like, takes your SP away, so you have to l survive on, like, extremely little at all times. And there are so many required fights in this dungeon. They they go out of their way to make it to where you don't want to complete it. Yeah. And, like, in, in addition to, like, um... Like, the enemies being... Like, another thing that adds to the enemies being really easy is that... A lot of the enemies in this dungeon have a shit ton of weaknesses, but they're all magic based, so you have to use SP in order to kill them. That's wow. This is like I mean, it's God. not that you can't use physical attacks, but yeah, like there it's just, are, this is Go ahead. There there are a lot of enemies here that are resistant to physical attacks as well. This is such a fucking rude dungeon, because it's like, it's, this is supposed to be a bonus dungeon, and it's like, oh yeah, you know, you can go out of your way and do this extra dungeon if you want to. It's not mandatory, but considering how plot relevant the character it's inside is, you probably want to. By the way, if you do this dungeon, uh, go fuck yourself, because we're not gonna do anything to help you. Okay, okay, I will say, this dungeon is not hard, like, at all. It, it's just it's, really rude. It's just really, un it's just really annoying. You can win this. See, like, look at this guy. Weak to all elements except light and dark and resistant to physical. He has oh. a thousand HP, wow. Yeah. Big wolf. Doo -doo. Enemy down. Our moment has arrived. Let's go. Okay. okay. Let's beat him up. <laughs> you don't need to you don't need to ask my permission to beat the shit out of him when he's on the ground. You'll do it well, anyway. Yep. There went over half of his HP. I also do I do like the uh the battle arena as well. Like, aesthetically, nice. aesthetically, this dungeon's pretty cool. Uh, mechanically, it kinda sucks. And beesthetically. I was gonna say, just this, you know what this reminds me of? Some mm. of those post game dungeons from Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Oh my god. Fuck those. Yeah, <laughs> that's kinda what this is like. But at least this isn't 99 floors, and you, it doesn't make you yeah. start at level 1. Yeah, no, this is, like, th this is, uh,. God, I lost my train of thought. Uh, this is ten floors. It's it's like a normal dungeon size. Um, so yeah, they do give you like, like one incentive to fighting enemies is that they do drop a lot of items, and items are extremely valuable, uh, because you know you can find like healing items or like SP restoring items or even shit, just anything that lets you leave. Um, excuse you. Uh, this is another one of her poems, Jack. She's yeah. not calling you the murderer. <laughs> I know. The murderer. I'm, I keyed. The murderer. I what? did no such thing. Um, so anyway, not all of the floors in this dungeon are, like, just enemies behind doors, and not all doors have enemies in them. Um, or, I guess, gates, rather. Sometimes the chests have enemies! I used a key to get a fight. 
And this one drains physical, so you have yep. to use an ability. Yep. Come on, this fight's not over. I just go. don't want to deal with these two. Bye bye. The game is also pretty generous with shuffle times in this dungeon. Um, oh yeah, another thing, you don't have any money and you don't gain any money from fights, if you haven't noticed yet, so there's no point to taking the money cards. You get no money and you get extremely little experience from this dungeon. Wow, it's like they don't want you to grind before the, yeah. the boss. It's like, not only do they not want you to grind before the boss, they also don't want you to be able to take much of anything of value out past this dungeon to the to the end of the game. I think it's because, like, you know, because this is, like, the bonus dungeon for this game, and, you know, it's the penultimate dungeon instead of the final one. Um, they pro Yeah, they probably didn't want to have to rebalance the, uh, the yeah. final dungeon. Yeah, yeah. And, like, you would get, like, you know, as with any dungeon, you would normally get, like, I don't know, 10 to 15 levels gained on average. Um, maybe around, like, 10-ish. But, um, yeah. So, like, I get it. They didn't want to make the final dungeon too easy, and they didn't want to rebalance it. That's fine. It's just, like, you know, it just makes fighting enemies in this dungeon that much more pointless. Because, like, aside from the, like, yeah, the enemies do drop items, but they're so obnoxious to fight that it's just, like, I just avoid the regular enemies on the ground if I can, and only fight the, uh, honestly, like, I run away from a lot of fights in this video. Because it's just, like, it's just not worth the experience or my time. I feel, I feel that. I feel that. But it's extremely story relevant, and it's the only way we can get the best ending. So we're doing it. So we're here. We've got this video up. If you don't want to see the best ending, skip this video. Yeah. And then skip the finale, because we're going to be getting the best ending. You can win this. Blast it with wind. Yeah, go play the two, game yourself. Two tables and two babies. Ow, ow, traitor. Why'd you come back? Traitor. I, th I thought you left forever. Zap, zap, zap. So little experience. Or not experience, uh, SP. You'll be fine, you'll make it. Oh yeah, also for some fucking reason, no items also means they take away all of your cosmetic items. So, like, you can't That's change dumb. your outfits at all in this dungeon. Alright, I had my grievances with this place, but that's... That's too That's far. That's the last straw. That's it. Yeah, man. If I can't put Chie in a maid outfit, then what's the point? What are you, Cloud? <laughs> I don't even have the maid outfit. Mm. There is a maid outfit for the female characters in this game. Um, you can buy it from the... Uh, God, I forget what it's called. The, uh, the, the clothing store in Okina that sells, like, just, uh, cosmetic changes for your party members. But the thing is, is that the maid outfit is, like, 99,000 yen. I and was you have going to, to say... And you have, have to buy it for each of them. I was going to say you have piqued my interest, but these are all teenagers, so I still don't care. Boy, there's, I don't know. <laughs> that was your guys' day. Um, uh, not too bad. Overall, pretty good. Oh, she's doing her slam poetry. You're acting like you ain't. I'm, I ain't stupid enough to get had. Bars. Fucking bars. Bars. I want to dance, and that's a fact. I am a clown. A clown. <laughs> what the fuck? A pathetic clown dancing forever. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, that's a legendary poem. See, 
I would take her poetry more seriously if it didn't just randomly break out into cringe slam, like, rap stuff. I don't know what the fuck she's trying to, to do. To be she's fair. She's a juggalo. <laughs> she really likes the Insane Clown Posse. <laughs> you know? I, you know? Do you think she keeps bottles of Fanta in the fridge in the Velvet Room? Hell yes. yeah. I, I know for a fact. That's why there's so many uh, fucking stops fight. to 7-Eleven. I don't want to fight the goddamn... <laughs> Fine. Fight the goddamn thingy. I know that these are technically required fights, but a lot of these are enemies that we see more than once, so I just don't want to show them. That's fine. They're all piss babies, so... And like I said, I run away from a lot of them. Oh, um, I guess one thing I can mention is that another, like, uh, if you may have seen it in the- when I had the me item menu pulled open earlier, um, one- another kind of item that you can get in this dungeon is the items that, like, do a certain amount of damage in a certain element, like, you know, items that'll do, like, 150 damage- or, or 150 points of electric damage against an enemy. Save those for later. Don't- don't use them in any of the mook fights. Just- just save them for later. I'll explain- I'll explain their use in the next part, but... Just don't use them. I use them all. God Sorry, damn it, Jed. I use all yours. God damn it. Oh, I have I got, so little SP. I got hungry. It's all gone. Almost all gone, anyway. Yeah, the, the the reason to hold on to those items is because I get hungry, and so I need something to snack on. I mean, I got this. I guess. That helps a little. I don't actually know if you can go back to the beginning and uh, refill your SP with the fox. Actually, you know what? I don't think you can, because it takes all of your money. And, uh, the fox requires funds to restore your SP. Because he's a greedy bastard. Yeah, he's a damn capitalist pig. He's a fucking drug dealer. Oh, what if instead of a fox, it was a pig that restored your SP? <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun, guys? Can we just get the Minecraft pig to restore our SP? <laughs> um... <laughs> I don't think... Oh, oh, okay, okay, hold on. This is, uh, this is a mini-boss fight. Um, so I will talk about this one. Um, let me have the, uh, fucking thing open. This is the Gorgeous King. Um, he is... He is weak to physical. One of the very few enemies in this, uh, dungeon that is. Um... Resistant to all forms of magic and immune to light and dark because mini boss. Um, but he has like dodge twenty three. Yeah, uh, this thing has uh, an eighty eight in luck. It has four thousand HP, and it takes extremely little damage from physical attacks. Like even if it's weak to them, it does like jack shit. It does Jack so, Frost to him. So we'll attack him. That did three damage. Wow, only... And he has 4,000 HP. Only a thousand and... Two hundred more of those to go. So, I just... I just... I just fast forward, because honestly, this fight is ten minutes long, and it is incredibly Jesus. frustrating. Because the idea is that, like... You know, you want to get him knocked down so that you can do an all-out attack against him. Um, but he's summoning because that's, fuckers. Because that's the only thing that you can do to do, like, any real damage to him. But he summons fuckers. So you gotta kill the fuckers so you can do an all-out attack against him. Or just knock him down. Either way, this fight is obnoxious. And yeah, he has, like, insanely high, like, chance to dodge physical. Um, let's see. Uh, as for moves, um, it has, like, the big thing is that, um, it also has, uh, Makrakarn, 
and also Tetracarn, so it can give itself the barrier that reflects physical or magic one time. Which is lame. I don't really feel like reading the, le the rest of his moves. At least there's we get to listen to reach out to the truth some more. The there's a lot of moves here. Yukiko got him there. Thank you, Yukiko. Real cool. Oh, I wanted to show off the Naoto's uh, crit animation. Hell yeah. It's so fucking She's funny. Did she just walk up slowly and down smash? <laughs> she walked up slowly and up smashed. Oh god. Oh, uh, thank Christ. Yeah, that was like, I think, 11 minutes long. Well, it's over god. now. God. He can't hurt you now. It's like it's not even hard too. Like that's the thing. It's not even a. It's not even like hard, because he like will not kill you. But like it's so obnoxious. Anyway. Oh boy. Jack's a cold thing. Man, are these hate breed lyrics? Maybe. <laughs> wow. That one was significantly less cringe than the previous one. The floors aren't uh numbered. They're just named after it's like memories of blank. But, you know, there's ten floors. I'm just memories avoiding of all of the enemies poem. I can. <laughs> They're memories of a poem. I just do not give a fuck about the enemies. I mean, why would why would you? Hmm. I mean, I the big the good thing about this dungeon is that because like the the level curve doesn't really like go up at all. Um, like, I'm already, like, way above level, way above the level of the, uh, the boss for this dungeon. Hell yeah. The boss is level 77, and I think we're 79. So, like, we are more than prepared to just take on the boss right now. It's just a matter of getting there. So, at the very least, this dungeon is pretty quick. Like, I <laughs> beat this in... I was gonna say, they did make it, though, so that you actually are forced to fight things to get there. Oh yeah, no, no, I mean, like, in terms of grinding, it's quick. It, in terms of obstacles, it's very slow. But, at the same time, like, not having to worry about grinding is nice. These guys. The lawless fuzz. So, the police. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Four enemies left. Don't give up. Yeah, don't give up, Jack. Yeah, Jack. I'm not going, you got I'm this. Not going to. I don't Jack, plan on it. Stop giving up. Stungeon's annoying, but you stop know, stop giving up. I can, I can do this. Enemy down. Me, me, it's my turn. Oh, thank you, Teddy. I actually would. <laughs> We Teddy coming in with <laughs> the clutch. The Teddy coming in with a clutch crit attack when I was too low on SP to knock down the other table. Just double checking to make sure they don't like reflect physical before I. Well, they don't reflect physical, but they have Counter Strike. So close enough. So there's a chance that they reflect physical. Oh yeah, every once in a while, Rise will restore the party's SP, because, you know, that's just how her, a her AI works. You know, if you're low on SP, she'll restore SP. If you're low on health, she'll restore health. It's not all bad. Yeah. Like, for the most part, you'll have enough um, SP to get by, but, like, you you're just extremely limited on a battle-by-battle -battle basis.
Oh yeah, also chest keys are super useful in this dungeon because there's a lot of locked chests. Like, I think locked chests are more common than regular chests in this dungeon, so like, get as many chest keys as you can from the fights. When you do them. Again, I just fucking avoid them if I can. You know, we could just jump over the rope barrier. We could just slide under it. No. Yeah. We could do anything to get past it. Yeah. It's not... It's, like, does not look very enemy. hard to get around. Yeah. It's a mild inconvenience at best. No, no! That's how they get us. Oh, man. Purple guys? Yeah. No, thank you. I, I, I left that I left that in just to show those guys off. That's the uh That's the purple guy. Harmonious giant, I think. Um I think so. I could be wrong. Purple guy. Um not weak to anything, but it's resistant to physical. And also it poisons you. So it's, it's super a, lame. It's a bastard. Yeah, Harmonious Giants is the name. Don't look at me. I didn't call you a bastard traitor. <laughs> Are we there yet? Yeah. What? I asked you, are we there yet? I was just responding to... Never mind. I know what you were doing. Oh my god. A cutscene. As soon as it loads. There it is. Oh shit. Hey guys. Casey here. Welcome Ace, to my game room. Doing? Who's there? Casey, what are you doing? That voice. Marichan? We've been looking for you. What's with that getup? Something wrong? Stay back. Yeah, what's with what what's what's with the hood? That's right, Marichan. We're all here to take you back home. Come on. Let's go. Okay. Even I'm here too. Yeah. I have no home. You don't get Oh it. no. She's Sans Undertale. Oh, I God. don't know what that She's means. She's Sans Undertale dressed as a pr as a white mage from Final Fantasy. Why do you I don't understand Why? any of those words. Marie-chan, <laughs> listen. <laughs> can it be I... the white mage from Mario Hoops 3 on 3 so she can be baller? Sure. But she balling. Gonna happen if you lock yourself I did no understand baller. one of those words. Three on three. We know we're being meddlesome, but we want to help you. I can't. I can't go back to my 7 Eleven job. <laughs> <laughs> I've become Sans Undertale. You thought I was in danger, didn't you? I might get killed by the shadows. That's why she left 7-Eleven, because she wanted to... She wanted to cosplay as Sans Undertale, so but... <laughs> but when the cosplay came in, it was the frickin' white mage outfit, and she was like, well, fuck, now I'm embarrassed. But she decided to wear it anyway. Yeah, Senpai's right. We won't let that happen to you. Shut up. You don't know anything. You don't know me. You don't know my name. Uh, we did it, folks. Yeah, we did it. I remember. I remember everything. My real name is Kasumi no Okami. It's wow. Okami? You guys fought Kunino Sagiri and Amino Sagiri, right? Yeah. I'm the same as them. I'm your enemy. One of the ones who covered your town with fog. What? Oh, okay. No. Marie-chan is our what? enemy? No way. She's but why dead. doesn't she remember? Or does she, or did she remember and she was Kunino being a fake the whole time? Oh my what? No, she actually forgot. Oh she did what? I remember them. Why too. did she forget? Uh those guys that came out from you'll see. Baby and that Namatame oh. guy. That's what you remember? Because she had amnesia for the whole game, and she was like, who am I? Where did I come from? Yeah, she's a, she's a bad guy. Well, 
was to inform bad. The with the wish of yeah, I know, quote unquote, bad guy. That's Large quotes. One of them that looks human. Even without my memory. Large quotes, my small text. My role. In your words, I'm a spy. <gasps> You were spying without knowing it? She God, was this the is, spy you, class I'm in Team Fortress 2! So <laughs> Which I also don't understand that, so... Uh, I'm... This... This revelation about who Marie is is reminding me a little bit of the Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. So, I won't say... That... I won't say specifically, but go watch that LP. Disappear. Oh yeah, if we don't if she doesn't die the world is going to end. What does she mean by that? Disappear for good. Mm. Mm. That she's one of those <laughs> monsters, My arms. Like the ones that came from within Adachi-san and Namatame. She may have a valid reason for shutting herself in this area. So now we should turn around and leave, right? Now's not the time for deduction. Yeah. She is trying to kill herself. Yeah, that's bad. But we is should... she a romance option? She's... <laughs> we've already... We've been over this. She is not. Eh, we're not really losing anything, are we? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll find a way. We'll find a way to fix this. Okay. The romance option thing? Uh, sure. Okay. I'm invested again. Let's go. I didn't realize that uh, Landon actually cared enough about Marie to even be remotely interested in a possible romance that doesn't actually exist. He's, he drives her to 7-Eleven. Yeah. I have to be. <laughs> I'm, I'm invested in her well-being. <laughs> I want her to succeed. Uh -oh. that one's immune to darkness. Are we going to fight this one? Um, uh, maybe. I think. Looks like it. The, the statue and the butterflies are new. God damn it. I think we're not going to fight this one. That's not oh. how giant golems avoid attacks. They don't just shift to the side. They all have raised defense and evasion. That is kind of annoying. Well, now, Tokun, you never lose your cool. Is it's Rusei honestly like just a now token fan. Two enemies down. Not bad at all. It's yes, honestly nice. <laughs> it's honestly nice when uh like an enemy's uh reflects ice when uh Teddy attacks because it's like a free heal cuz he just absorbs ice. Well, that's true. Don't give up now, okay? Fuck those butterflies. Get out of here, butterflies. Bye bye, butterflies. Am I right? Yeah. Wait, what? You know, it's like the. I, I know, I know. Uh, Teddy. They do not take much physical damage. Very little. Anyone finish it off. Traitor? Teddy. Finish it off. Have a have a free heal, even though you're at full health. If he was low on health, he would have gained four hundred HP. That's cool. Uh, should I beat Teddy up so he could gain HP back? <laughs> if you throw ice cubes at him, it'll work. Hmm. Okay. Or just like beat him to death with a bag of ice. <laughs> oh, that'd be fun. And he just regains health from it. Guys, Chia Senpai's really hurt. Uh, yeah. What am I supposed to do about Chia Senpai really being hurt? Uh, I don't know. Probably worry about her. Oh, okay. Don't worry, Chia, you got this. Oh, get that EXP up. 
That'll help a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, he got it. I that was a really good or uh, shuffle time, because I got e free exp and a chest key, and I come did a sweep. Whole sweep. Whole sweep. Can't walk another step. Oh yeah, I should probably heal you. No, we good. I mean, it's his girlfriend. It would be pretty rude if I didn't. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I'll let it happen. She's also, like, our most useful physical party member. Hmm. I suppose. In fact, she, in fact, she's our only party member that uses physical attacks. Aside from us. When we have a physical persona. Equipped. Well, Traitor didn't like the idea, so he ran away. Wow, Traitor, what the fuck? Yeah, what the fuck, Traitor? Also, Traitor, while you're up, can you go to the, run to the store and get me some more cherry turnovers? Thanks, bye! <laughs> bye bye! Oh, hey, it's a puppet. Oh, that's not wow, that's new! Won't work. Yeah. Can you, can you kill it? You can win this. Blast yeah. Yeah. This what thing are you, are you is, is weak shit. God. He died Damn. from God. <laughs> it turns out his one true weakness was Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, hell no yeah. money. No Get money. the no money card. <laughs> you Another mean, sweep. You mean the card that uh, doesn't affect you because you it's, can't get money in this it's one like anyway. the, the tower card is only a positive in this dungeon because it gives you three more choices with no drawback yeah it's the best card oh yes what is it oh yes it's an armor and then I equipped armor Wow. The music in this dungeon is solid, but not one of the best. It's like, I don't know, probably mid-tier for dungeon themes in this game. Oh hey, it's the puppet again. Oh, that's not Let's beat it up. Darkness won't work. <laughs> Wow. I just did a fucking. I was just gonna do a fucking rush attack on it to just use, you know, regular physical attacks, and it just went down with one crit. Ah, oh, damn it! It's still alive. Naoto. Do it again. Thanks. Oh, thank you, Naoto. <laughs> Look My at the God, snakes! Have, Get the snake! I have so many. Get the snake! Look at that wiggly boy. Get Mr. Snake. No. no! No! I will kill you! You could have just you could have just grabbed the snake. Why? Why do you do this I'm to so, me? I'm sorry. Get the get the pretty snake. I'm Be sorry. rainbow. Uh, now I know what Cloud felt like when we when he killed fucking Gooey in Kirby's Dreamland 2. Yeah. Well he and didn't never say sorry. True. You killed Gooey and never used him. I honestly, I when I went into that LP, I didn't even know how to get, get Gooey. So when I randomly got him, I was like, oh, cool, Gooey. And then I accidentally killed him. I was like, no, Gooey. <laughs> That's fair, honestly. God, these fucking floors are so big. This is the memories of anger, after all. Oh, another mini boss! Wow, that's, not good. that's why this is a big, big floor. Uh, this is Heaven's Giant, significantly less annoying than the previous mini boss. Um, it is immune to all types of magic. Um, but it take except it takes two hundred fifty percent damage from Almighty. So use Almighty attacks on it. 
Also, uh, physical, it's resistant to physical. So, you can use physical attacks, but... Ow! It does have high counter. Um, but as far as, like, attacks, it doesn't really have much that does a ton of damage. I mean, it does have power charge, and it does have heat riser, and it does have debilitate. Alright, it's a little bit annoying, but it's still, like, not nearly as annoying as the fucking... the king. The absolutely gorgeous king. <laughs> that is his name. Why is that his name? I don't know, because he's gorgeous. He's an asshole, though. Gorgeous people can be assholes. It's true. But he's not gorgeous on the inside. And that's the oh. important thing. That's true, folks. Even if it's resistant to physical, it still does a sh kind of a shit ton. GA. Kill this motherfucker. Ask God. Aw, oh, dang it. Why don't I attack with Naoto here? Almighty does so much damage. Probably because uh, she kept getting countered. Yeah. Yeah. And you're worried about your girlfriend. Damn. Losing SP sucks. Like, from Enervation. Or, uh, is it Enervation or Exhaustion? That... I think it's Exhaustion. Okay. I think. Yeah, because I think SP is, um, technically stam- like, like, representative of stamina. One enemy to go. Mm -hmm. Keep it up. Eh. I care less about Shie losing her SP because she doesn't really need it too much. Has Naoto landed an attack? I don't think so. Damn it. This thing's just dodging. Yeah. This thing has an endurance stat of four. Why? Four. Just four? Out of a hundred. Out of a hundred. Jesus. Um, its agility is 62, despite the fact that it's a fucking building. One enemy to go. Keep it up. Hey, I know some buildings that can move. Heh, <laughs> <laughs> idiot. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. There we go. Yes, we won. Fuck that guy. Still better than the king, but still kind of annoying. Which is on, on par for this dungeon. But hey, we're almost done. Alright, I'll go get a treasure chest. Ah, shit. Whoops, you went to go get a oh, treasure hey. chest. It's the puppet again. Um, so the reason why I showed this off is because, uh, if you don't kill it quickly enough, it does summon an enemy. This is the indignant machine, which is resistant to everything. Bye -bye. What the fuck? It's the Neo 2 Hitler's Hell expansion of enemies. Yeah. Yeah, it's, um, the strongest... It's the strongest enemy, like, the strongest mook in this dungeon. Um, which is, like, the whole point of the puppet. But, yeah. Also, goddammit, the dun- the- the fucking treasure chest I was going for was a golden chest and I didn't have a chest key. What a waste of time. Energy, God money, and resources. Damn. That's some deep shit, dog. Is this a new poem? 
Um, I think so. I don't remember that one, actually. But, I mean, maybe we've seen it. Yeah, we gotta go save her. Ah! Fuck you, enemy. Go away, run away! Bye-bye! Nice. I would have laughed if that had an enemy on it. Just because you spent your time running away from one, just to... Yeah. Would have been hilarious. Oh yeah, the items uh, that uh, remove an enemy's resistance to an element, uh, save those as well. That's actually the, like the main thing that you want to save, but like even more so than the uh, the attacking items. But uh, yeah, save them. We're well, Jack. Yes. What am I gonna snack on? I... Hold on, we'll 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 stop at Seven Eleven and get you some oh. some Cheez-Its. Yay! Wait, no, Cheez-Its or Kellogg's. Um, uh, Lay's, uh, something. Lay's something. Oh, say, my we could, favorite. We could get those like we could get those uh, cheddar and sour cream ruffles. Those are pretty good. Oh, oh those are baller. Get some uh, salt and vinegar. Just, How do you just guys feel about and salt vinegar. and vinegar? <laughs> salt and vinegar chips. Oh. Well, I want a bottle of salt and uh, a tub of vinegar. And just bathe in them. Yeah. Just mix them together. Goodbye. Bye bye. That one I think is definitely new. I think. I don't know, it's been a while since we've heard some of these. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh yeah, just... Naoto, I think Naoto was the only one at this point that did not have an armor yet, so I was just equipping her with one. A fancy new one, at least. Yeah. No, oh, we're almost done. <laughs> so close. It's not the most exciting dungeon, I gotta say. You'll make it there to the end, Jack. I believe in you. Despite its gimmick. And its awesome look. I mean, the look is, is yeah, Jesus the look is good. You look hurt pretty bad. Uh, yeah, I should heal her. Should you though? Probably. What am I doing? There we go. You were debating whether or not to heal her. Took you way longer than it should have. I think I was like looking at something in the uh, the S and T wiki. I I don't know. Probably. Mm. Or someone was chatting you up in your DMs. It could be. God damn it. Oh, it's the purple guys again. And oh, they've poisoned me again. Why? Wow. Well, bye again. Time, time to run. Yep. Uh, the other guy that we had actually had not seen yet was the Clear Sky Musha. Uh, it's the only thing it's uh, resistant, or the only note of anything of note. I fucking whatever. It reflects light. But otherwise, it's not resistant to or weak to anything. Oh. That's cool. Fuck those purple guys, though. Anyway, we're here. Wow, look at that cool... thing. Yeah. Give him a high five. He's too big. Can't reach him. But you should be able to give high fives to all the guys, Jack. I do like this, the look of this entrance as well. Anyway, next time on Persona 4 Golden, we're going to stop Marie from trying to 
do something really bad.